let's watch. It's very quick, and the object's flying over his house, and all of a sudden it appears to split in two. Now, that's not military. That's not civil aviation. Um, where does it go? If we see the split, we can slow it right down for you, and you can see in slow motion that this thing does seem to separate. Um, but the second object appears to go nowhere. It's there for just about five or six frames, and then it's gone. Now, it's evidence like like this. It's videos like this that, that we need people to see, hence the reason for, for putting it on hard evidence. Um, it's the only tool we've got is UFOs hard evidence to guarantee that the footage will go out in its entirety. Um, I can't understand why television news companies and documentary makers tend to steer away from this sort of footage because believe you me, this is riveting. Again, let's just watch as, as, as the object splits in two. I can't explain that. In analysing the footage, all we can say is that this is something that's not normal. This is something that is very, very difficult to explain. We've shown this footage um, to our friends at the local airport and they come up with the same answers. Uh, what is it? We don't know. Um, but Brian and people like Chris Martin are there, keep filming these objects. I wouldn't say it was a very easy thing to uh, fake. Let's face it, if you were going to fake something, you'd fake something that looked like a UFO. But you know, one of my theories are, over the last 50 years, some of the earliest footage recorded on film, 16 millimeter film, the Tremerton film, and we'll just have a quick look at it here in the background. Round spherical objects, balls of light, self-luminescent, they've been filmed for 50 years. This is not a new phenomena. This is something that even the US military, in their terminology, um, in the press statement for, for the release of, of this material back in the 50s, referred to them as self-fluorescent spheres, a term that Hammy Massans captured um, and clung to for, for describing the, the sightings over Mexico City. And just to finish off, um, this one, well, maybe we can't call it a sphere as such, but just watch this. This is stock footage of a, a B2. The stealth bomber as it takes off. And look, look what happens behind it. We see one of these glowing particles. Whether it's a sphere or not, I don't know. This one needs a lot more time spending on it, even though it's only a brief clip. We have got to find out exactly where this footage was filmed and, and who took it. But watch again. There we have B2, the America's most expensive aeroplane. One of the most expensive flying machines ever, ever built. And clear as day, it's being followed by an unidentified flying object.